Have you ever tried drawing on black paper with white charcoal? In this video I will show you how I made a drawing with white charcoal on black paper and also share some of my own tips and tricks with you for drawing with white on black paper. It might help you understand the process a little bit better and you'll find out how much fun it can be. So grab your favorite beverage, sit back and keep watching. My name is Pietru and welcome back to another art video here on the Artifix 23 channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about bringing you a variety of art related content and to encourage you to follow your art. If that is something that you're interested in, click subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be the first to know whenever I have new art vibes coming your way. Let's move on. If you've ever tried to draw with white pencil on black paper, you'll know that it's a lot of fun, but also a little bit more tricky than it might seem at first. To make the experience even more enjoyable, there are a few things to consider before diving in. When working with white on black, you have to make a bit of a mind shift. It's almost like working in negative, like the negative film used in the older cameras. So tip number one, choose your reference photo carefully. If there's a lot of black in the photo and just enough information to put in with your white pencil, then that's a good reference. If there's a lot of white in your reference photo, remember that you'll have to work a little bit harder to get all of that white onto the black paper. And then you might prefer to just rather work on white paper. If the reference photo is in color, use an app on your device and put a black and white filter on it. Play around with the contrast and the highlights and the shadows until you find what works for you. Okay, tip number two, layer and blend. Don't get discouraged when it doesn't look great at first. When you work on white paper, you have to lay down quite a few layers and blend in between to get rid of the white of the paper and to get that nice smooth finish. When working white on black, you might notice that the white looks really bright on the black paper. And then when you go to blend it out, it might start to look like you're just making a mess. But keep layering and blending. That hazy effect will disappear soon enough and you will get the result that you intended in the first place. Okay, tip number three, keep it clean. The white charcoal creates dust while you draw and you might be tempted to blow it off occasionally. When blowing it over the black paper, it leaves a white residue and it spoils the rich black of the paper. Rather, just turn the work over and lightly tap on the back for the dust to fall off. But if you do get white dust on your paper, I have two tricks for you to restore the black of your paper. So tip number four, you can use a kneaded eraser to lift off the white dust. It can be a bit tedious, especially if it's a large area. Um, and also I've experienced that the kneaded erasers sometimes um, can leave marks on your black paper that is not easy to remove. But if it's a small area, the kneaded eraser works perfectly. And another trick is to use black charcoal. If you do happen to get white in a spot that was intended to stay black, simply use your black charcoal pencil to erase. I actually prefer this method to using regular erasers or kneaded erasers. By using that black charcoal pencil on your black paper, um, the black um, will look fresh and crisp again. Oh, and also take care not to touch or lay your hand on your black paper. The oily residue from our skins are next to impossible to remove and it will show up on your black paper. Tip number five, use the black of the paper to your advantage. When we draw or paint, we make use of mid-tone, shadows and highlights to render our artwork. 
So when drawing on toned or colored paper, it gives us the advantage that we already have a mid-tone as a starting point. So when working on black paper, the shadow areas are already filled in and all you have to do is put in the mid-tones and highlights. Like I said before, it's a bit of a mind shift, but an excellent way to achieve beautiful, dramatic artwork with high impact. Here's a bonus tip for you. Less is more. When creating artwork on a black surface, um, you might want to keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate your drawing by putting in too much information. Let the black of the paper and the white of your pencil um, tell the story. And by keeping it simple, you will create a beautiful piece of artwork that will add interest and will look striking.
I hope you find this video helpful in your daily art endeavors. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please remember to leave a thumbs up before you go. I will see you next time. And as always, remember to follow your art.